chamber, we have a group called the Ambassadors. Mm -hmm. It's a group of younger, up-and-coming leaders uh, in, in central Indiana. And so that's a place to come together through that group. And then we have many, many organizations and opportunities for young people to participate. You know, we have an event coming up next month, and you can see the exact date on the website, but it's Smoozer Palooza. But, but these are older people. These are my age people. Oh, they're not, okay. not kids, but they're just beginning. For instance, okay. there, there may be a, a second um, career uh, business or, or, you know, something okay. they're just starting up. Yeah. So I still want to be able to funnel them into, uh, to get access and to the events and to people that, who, who um, frequent the chamber? Okay, well, we have several places for, for them to come into the chamber. One is through, one is through the events, like Smoozer Palooza. That's a big event, event that's coming up. But there are also many, many other events, like Pancakes and Politics, mm -hmm. other networking opportunities around the region where people can get involved. And all of this is listed on our website. Um, and then uh, there's the Hispanic Business Council, and they meet quarterly for breakfast, and that's a great entry point. And all of these are very affordable. Then we have BOI, Business Ownership Initiative, and that's a great place to come in because we offer classes and workshops on starting a business, cash flow management, accounting, how to read financial statements, and you know we have events that are only $25. That's that's that. I mean, because that's underwritten and understand also that that's how we do our micro lending. So if you have a small business and you have an idea that of something that you need that would help make a real difference for you, but it's a small loan that a traditional bank, it may be too small for them. You can access through a BOI. At, at the chamber. And our website is the place to come in because it's all, it's updated several times a day. I'm on it, yeah. Okay, and, and that's the, the place to come in and so much is affordable. You know, the other thing about the chamber, and many people don't realize it, they're all membership levels. We have people paying $100,000 a year in dues, but we have people paying down in the $100 a year for dues for membership dues. And so I say there's a, there's a membership level for everyone in the community. Now, you mentioned during your speech, you said it takes a village to raise an entrepreneur. And I was hoping that you would be willing to speak to my village of entrepreneurs and encourage them one day. I, I, I do it all the time. And that would be great. Um, so um, you, you, just, you just give me a call. You, you know me, so you, you call me. I, I, I never tell anyone no. And, uh, and, and they called me out up there on stage. If you tell me to talk for 30 minutes, I'm going to talk for 45. <laughs> Got that right. Everyone know me, so I'm going to do that. And so, but I love to do it. In fact, uh, the uh, business ownership initiative group at the chamber have me speaking to a group I believe it's May 17th. Uh, I'm speaking to a group for them, and of course, uh, anyone can come and hear that. The topic I'm speaking on is pricing. Oh, and uh, pricing's very, very important. Yes, you know, if you don't get your pricing right, out of business you go. And, uh, and, and that's how you make your money. You want to be competitive and fair to your customers, but you want to cover your cost in such a way that you generate funds for reinvesting in the business and a return for your shareholders. Mm -hmm. And so pricing is the key to that. And people oftentimes do it too quickly. Mm -hmm. They don't sit down and really think about how to price their, their business. All right. So you got this honor and congratulations. Thank well you. deserved. What does it mean for you personally to receive this, this honor? Well, it's nice to be recognized, and certainly uh, by a, an institution like uh, the Madam Walker Theater Center, where you have an entrepreneur like Madam C.J. Walker, who truly, you know, uh, had every obstacle you could think of in, in front of her. She was African American at that time. There were obstacles for that. She couldn't go everywhere, do everything. She was a, wom a woman. When she started, women couldn't even vote. So let's not even mention anything else if you can't vote. I mean, you you're cut out of the uh, out of the out of the game and so she had those obstacles and then she had the 
obstacle of, you know, getting educated and all of that in a society where education wasn't as accessible as it is today. In spite of all of that, look what she achieved, the business she built and, and the, the, the uh, a livelihoods that she created by educating people. And so, um, you know, I'm proud of her as an African American. I'm also proud of her because I know she's an American icon, not just for African Americans, for every American can look back and say, Madam C.J. Walker is an important person in, in history. So to get an award associated with her it means even more. Very good. Thank you so much for your time sure and congratulations enough. again. Thank Thanks so much. Follow me.